right, Bright Play Pals, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Guys, another game we have today. I'm so excited. The folks from Redwood sent something to us. They sent us Flying Sushi Kitchen, guys. Flying Sushi Kitchen. Um, it's a really fun game. It's one of, I love time-based games where you're like going against the clock. So the cool thing with this game, you can play with multiple people, but you can even play by yourself because you can play against the clock. You're basically a sushi chef. Um, what the challenge is that you've received some orders for sushi and you have to put together the sushi order the fastest, okay? And you have to do it before time runs out. So that's so important. And it says the first player to make $25 worth of sushi orders wins the game. Awesome! Without any further delays, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing and see what's inside. Okay, everyone, now we have unboxed everything that came with the Flying Sushi Kitchen, and I just want to tell you guys about it, okay? Um, you get four sets of everything. So you get a sushi tray for each player, and you also get chopsticks for each player. Now, what is really cool is you also get chopstick trainers um, because some people don't know how to use chopsticks. So um, that is cool, and you can just put this on here, and what it does is it helps you to control um, the sushi and when you do the chopsticks. So that is uh, pretty awesome. So you get four of those. And we actually have the different types of sushi. And these are so cute. Look at their little faces. That is so cute. So I love these. And I think this is gonna be so much fun. And guys, these feel like um, little foam-like balls, but I love their little facial expressions and stuff. They are super duper cute. And so we have our little setup over there. We've got our wasabi um, right here, our wasabi. We've got our little ginger right here. Um, so we have our cards here, and these cards will come into play pretty soon because what happens when we start playing is we are trying to make various orders based on what's listed on the card. And we have these different tokens. And the different tokens have dollar amounts on them. And once we complete certain orders, we will get the tokens that will correspond with, you know, what we've made. So, for example, if we got this particular order here, it's a $5 order um, that we have to make. And we have to include all these different things to make this order, as well as the extras. We have to go through and do that. We will get $5 if we complete that order successfully before we run out of time. And the first player to reach $25 wins the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what Flying Sushi Kitchen is all about. And you guys, I just want to let you know that I have another special guest. It's not her first time here at Instant Ride Play, but we have Miss BB. Miss BB is back and she is trying to compete with Instant Ride Play, guys. So we're going to see who's going to win this bout. So I'm going to go ahead and take these extra trays away and go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. And it is Miss BB's turn. So we're going to flip the card to see what she's going to have to make. Okay, it looks like. She's gonna have to make this particular sushi order. She's got four sushi balls that she needs to get on there and she needs two um, extras of wasabi and two of ginger. So that's what she's gonna need to complete her sushi order. So I'm gonna help her out. I'm like her assistant sushi chef. <laughs> her assistant here in the sushi kitchen, in the flying sushi kitchen. So I'm gonna put her balls up there. She only has four that she needs to get on the count of three. And then I'm going to push the red button. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. You're running. You're going against the clock. You're going against the clock. No. Okay. Okay. 
sides. <laughs> She's gotta get her extras. Come on, you can do it! You can do it, BB! <laughs> Okay. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> okay. Miss Bibi try. <laughs> so let's see what Bride Play can do better. So we're <laughs> gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a shot next. Alright guys, and that is the card that I pulled and that is what I am going to have to do to complete my sushi order. One, two, three, go. Okay, I'm going to start with my extras. Get those out of the way so that I don't have any stress. One. Oh, these little things is like, it's got static. <laughs> it went and fell on the floor, baby. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna do this one again. Woo! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, I wanna get this order done! Hey! Yay! I think technically I completed it! Woo! Give me my money! Okay. Five dollars. <laughs> I made mean, five old dollars. Woohoo! Okay. All right, BB, you want to try again? <laughs> sure. Okay, we're going to let Miss BB try one more time. <laughs> okay, it's Miss BB's turn again, and um, I didn't put that sushi back, but the card that, ooh, Miss BB has a $5 tip. So that basically means we're going to pull another card for Miss BB. Okay, so this is the order that she has to make. If she can successfully complete this order, then she will get a $5 tip. So, Miss Beebe, you gotta make those two. So we got the green sushi, and then that one right there. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this one right here. So what do you want it right there? That's Is that right. good? Yes. Okay, and then you gotta do the extras now. Yes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Good job. You can do it, BB. Oh. Does that count? Yeah, it counts. You got it off the thing, so okay. we'll, we'll give it to you. Okay. Oh, Lord. We need chopsticks. Uh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yay! <laughs> Yay, she did it before time ran out. Give me my money. So you get what, seven dollars? She gets seven dollars. So guys, <laughs> I know it says play to twenty-five, and we're gonna go ahead and at least we're gonna stop for the moment. But since BB got seven dollars and I only had five dollars, this game big win goes to miss bb and she won <laughs> the flying sushi kitchen challenge okay guys so miss bb actually won the challenge she had seven dollars and i had five dollars and so she won the flying sushi kitchen challenge we're gonna go ahead and end right now but i just want to let you guys know it is a lot of fun there's a lot of technique um, if you don't know how to use the chopsticks using these little um, trainers here it really does help a lot and also, um, there's things you can do to make the game more challenging. You can uh, remove the trainers so people can't use the sushi trainers. Um, you can uh, make it so if the balls fall down um, that the turn is over. I'm sure you can make it where if the ball falls after it is removed, uh, and before it actually hits the tray, you can make that not count as well. So there's lots of things you can do to make it more and more challenging because I'm sure the more we play this, the better we will get at it. As you guys can see, we only played it for a little bit and I, we got a little better with our technique. And so it could be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, there's so many different cards um, that are included. So lots of different orders and stuff that you can make. Um, we did run across the um, bonus card, the tip card, I should say that was in there. There's uh, challenge, sushi challenge cards 
um, that are included as well. And if you pull a, a challenge card, you lose your chopstick trainers for that particular order. So that can be a challenge. There's also all play cards inside. And with the all play card, um, you grab as many pieces of sushi as you can before time runs out. And then you collect the most to win all play. You'll get $5. So you will compete against other players in the game. And whoever gets the most sushi at the end, you get $5. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with this game. We like it, like it, like it. So again, I want to thank the folks at Redwoods for sending us the Flying Sushi Kitchen. And I'm sure it's something that my family will be playing. Um, we'll try to play with Ryan and see how it goes. Um, but it says it's it says it's for ages four and up. I'm not sure if he's quite ready, but we'll give him a try. So, guys, that's all we had today from Instant Ride Play, where we played with the Flying Sushi Kitchen. And I had a challenge with Miss BB, but she beat me today. Um, but you know what? I'm sure there'll be more challenges in the future. <laughs> and I'm going to take back my crown, okay? So, guys, that's all we had today from Instant Ride Play, where we played with the Flying Sushi Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because we really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, okay? So, that's all we had today from Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you had a hard day. We hope you find some time to play and we will see you next time on Instant Ride Play. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go.